I want to talk again about Brendan Van Son as his latest video talks about how to jumpstart a travel photography or travel videography career. I follow him because he's a successful travel photographer earning around $6,000 a month and he talks about how to do it. This is his Instagram account and you can see his images. He's actually in Japan now. He was in Berlin last week, in the UK before that, and in the Philippines the week before that. So he really travels around a lot. I'll put a link to all of this below, to his Instagram, his YouTube account, and to all the other things that I talk about. He's been doing travel photography for seven or eight years, and he's traveled to 100 countries. But the last year for him really took off because of a trade show that he visited. Last year, he got most of his business for the whole year just from one convention called the ITB convention in Berlin. This is the website for that convention, and I'll put a link to that below as well. It's a massive travel trade show, and that's just gone. But if you go to Google and you search for biggest travel trade shows, then there are so many lists out there. If we just click on one of them, then you've got here the top travel and tourism events. And you can even filter this by country. So you could find one that's near you or one that's convenient for you. I'm just picking out the most important points in this video. I'll put a link to the video below as well. And the number one thing is he says to arrange meetings before you go. Send out emails saying who you are and what you do and try and get a 20 minute or so meeting. Last year he says he had 20 meetings and around 12 of those led to work. If you can't get the meetings or you just didn't get the meetings, then you have to go around cold calling. And that's difficult because you get so many rejections for each win, maybe 100 rejections before you actually get some work. The good thing though is that you can actually recover all your expenses of going to the event just from one photo. His third way is just to have a quick pitch for people that you meet and he calls it an elevator pitch. The idea of an elevator pitch is this. You never know when you're gonna get stuck in an elevator with somebody that you might be able to work with. So, can you pitch yourself in the time that the elevator stops to the bottom floor? We're on the 10th floor, and I'm gonna see if I can do it. Hey, what's going on? My name is Brendan. I'm a travel photographer from Canada. I've had my work featured in places like The Guardian, Toronto Star. I've worked with some awesome clients like Travel Alberta, Turkish Airlines. I've basically been traveling for eight years straight, nomadically, tra over a hundred countries, and it's been amazing. And I've got this awesome YouTube community of like 50,000 people strong. We should work together sometime. Here's my business card. And here we are at the bottom. Take care, have a good one. So that's his pitch, and I'm sure you won't have the experience that he's got, but you have to think about what you do and what stands out and what they might like. You might have to specialize in things like underwater photography, maybe night skies, aerial photography, or even off the beaten path photography. And he goes into that on his video. If I went back to when I was starting my travels, then this would have been a really great way to do it. I had to do things like teaching English in Japan and Taiwan to earn the money so then I could travel, whereas this way you can travel and work at the same time. So if you actually want to be a travel photographer or be a travel videographer or just to earn money while you're traveling, then I really think it's worth watching this video and also subscribing to his channel. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well.